Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne, the First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. And I hope you're well today. I'm here in my home office doing some videos today, and I'm looking at Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. It is if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. When troublesome times come your way, oh, it's easy. Uh, to follow Jesus when the sun is shining, when your bills are paid, when your health is intact, when your children are, are doing what they want to do, when everything is rosy and happy and, and life is going good, it's easy to, uh, to follow Jesus. Uh, but it's a different story when things aren't turning out the way you thought they should. And when you get that phone call in the middle of the night and you have to rush to the hospital because your child has been in a car accident or you get uh, your 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 work is as having layoffs and you've gotten that pink slip and you don't know uh, what lies ahead or your spouse has become unfaithful or just troublesome times have come you're worried about what's happening in politics, what's happening in, in life itself. And he says, when you faint, when you fall back, uh, when you uh, stop following as closely as, as you were when things were going good, he says, your strength is small. Your faith is small. You have a small faith. You have a small view of God. You certainly your faith is not where it should be. Someone has rightfully said you, you build a foundation, the foundation of your house. You do it when the sun is shining. Uh, when things are going well, you, you dig deep. You put those, you put those, uh, that foundation, the cement and everything in there deep when the sun is shining and you, you build that structure up and you put a roof on it when the sun is shining cause the sun is not always shining. And it's so much easier to put a roof on the, on the, on the house when the sun is shining than when it's raining and when it's pouring and when you have a tornado or whatever else, it's too late, right? Doesn't mean you can't try to cover it up. It means that it's not going to be as strong as it could have been if you spent time doing it while the sun was shining. What happens is oftentimes is when the sun is shining is when we take uh, rest and we tend to fall back a little bit and, we, and we, we're not as zealous in our prayer life. We're not as zealous in our, our reading of God's word. We're not as faithful to God's house. And, and then when the hard times come, we faint, we fall back, and we wonder where God is in, in all these things. Well, he was there. You had opportunity to build on that foundation and to put that roof on while the sun was shining, and you chose not to do it. The important thing in life is that we're always, whether it's sun, sunny outside or it's rainy outside, we're consistent in our faith. We're continually um, delving into God's word. We're continually continuing in our faithfulness to the, to the house of God, to the word of God, through our prayers to almighty God, because this life is up and down and seemingly more downs than ups. And if we fall back, we're not going to be prepared for the adversity that will come. And it's going to come. That's just part of life. We don't want it. We don't want to think about it, uh, but it, it's going to come and whether you're prepared for it or not. And he says, if you want, if you want to keep standing, if you want to keep standing when the adversity comes, you need to be prepared for it right now. We have gone through some troublesome times in our family. Things have knocked us to the core and uh, we, we told the church, we're still standing. We're still standing. Why are we still standing? Why haven't we fallen down when so many others fall down when they go through 
similar things, deaths in the family and so forth. You know what? It's because our faith has, we're, uh, is, has been intact. We've continued to invest in our, in our spiritual walk. We have built deep roots in Jesus. And uh, we keep saying it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. It absolutely hurts. It continues to hurt. We're continually haunted by it. But our faith in God is intact. And if that's what you want in your life, if you want your faith intact in troublesome times, when the trouble sometimes comes your way, you need to dig deep now. The deeper the uh, the deeper the 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 foundation, the more sure it's going to be. Amen. Let me encourage you. Get in God's word. Stay in God's word. Uh, in good times and bad times, be consistent in what you're doing and don't fall back one way or another and keep putting one foot in front of the other and you too will be standing in the day of an adver adversity because it's going to come. It's going to come. None of us get through this life unscathed. We all bear the marks of, of just being human, but we also bear the marks of our faith, of our faith. And let's keep standing. Let's keep standing together. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.